Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have the Sephora Appreciation Sale Recommendations List, a mini haul, and a mini wish list. So if you're interested in hearing my list, then just keep watching. So basically what this sale is, Sephora pretty much surprised everybody with a appreciation sale. So if you're a VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. Everybody else gets 15% off. I will put the details of this sale down below in the description box. But I'm just going to go ahead and get into my recommendations list for you guys. Some of these are repeats from the last recommendations video that I did. So I do strongly suggest you check that one out as well because things that I said in that video still ring true for this video. But if they are repetitive, that means that I really, really, really think you should get it. So basically, the way it goes with good makeup is it never goes on sale. So that's why you have to take advantage of this sale. So a lot of the things in this video are kind of boring, but it's just a reminder that you probably should pick them up. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is skincare. This is the best time to pick up anything for skincare. I didn't talk about skincare in the last video, but I don't know, skincare to me is boring, but it is important. So I think that you need to pick up some skincare while you can get it because skincare is expensive. So what I recommend are two lines in general for you guys, just because everybody has a different skin type. So I don't want to recommend anything too specific. But I do love the Shiseido skincare line. It's one of my favorites. I've been using it for years so I've used a bunch of different of the collections for products that they have and every collection that they have is so great. I've tried the one for sensitive skin, I've tried the one to brighten your skin, I've tried the acne prone one. Everything is great. I love that skincare line. I would also recommend you check out Drunk Elephant. People love their serums. I also am one of those people. Very expensive. A bottle is like $90 so I would definitely recommend getting your hands on the Drunk Elephant serums if you have the opportunity opportunity to. All right, so let's get into more fun stuff. Let's talk about the essentials. So you want to use the sale to buy things that you know you would buy anyways. So a lot of backups, things like that. The eyeliner that I use a lot are felt liners and you know, the automatic liners like this. So the thing with these is that they dry out fast. So definitely pick one or two up during the sale. I recommend either the Pat McGrath Labs, what is it? Primer Precision Liquid Eyeliner or the Kat Von D Tap 2 Liner. I was going to pick up the Kat Von D one, but I still have this Pat McGrath that's good. But either one of these two are great. Pat McGrath is a little bit better. You know, this is something that you're going to repurchase over and over again, so why not buy them while they're on sale? All right, powder. I definitely recommended this in my last video. I believe always replace the Laura Mercier translucent powder when you can. This is never going to go on sale. This is a cult classic for the brand. They know better than to put this on sale. This is the best powder. It works great for everybody, every skin tone. Truly an essential, and I haven't picked it up yet and I need to. So this was a good reminder for myself to place an order online right now. And the last essential that I find myself running out of a lot is brow products. I go through brow products so fast. So the first thing I recommend is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I use this all the time. I've gone through 20 of them. I'm not buying any in the sale because I do have a couple of backups already in my collection, but I go through those like water. Brow pencils are something you want to replenish on and also brow pomade. Mine is all dried up, so I definitely need to pick up a new one. This is the AB Brow Pomade. I get mine in the shade Soft Brown. Replenish on this while you can. These are essential. Oh. Those are kind of essentials that I find I run out of a lot that I do need to repurchase a lot, but I still have a lot of fun things that you can take advantage of for this sale. First palettes because palettes are so expensive. So the first palette I'm recommending today is the Anastasia Norvina palette. This is the newest palette that came out and it's just really pretty purples. I think it's a good chance for you to get your hands on this if you haven't already. I almost feel like ABH shadows are collectibles. So many people just collect them and buy every single one. They're really good quality and really pretty colors. I do have a review on it so if you're interested this is the perfect time to pick it up if you haven't already. Alright so the next palette I'm going to be talking about isn't a palette in particular, but you should definitely consider getting a palette from this line, and that is the Pat McGrath Mothership palette. This one in particular is the first one, which doesn't look that pretty, which in my opinion looks the least pretty, but it's actually one of the best. This is just so luxurious, so expensive, which is why you should buy it while you can on sale. And it just has the most beautiful formula, probably the best formula of eyeshadows I've ever tried, and everything about it is just so luxurious from the packaging to the product. Because these palettes are so expensive, definitely see if you can get them for 20% off. You won't regret them. They're so good. The other 
expensive palettes that I'm going to recommend to you are the Natasha Denona palettes. I have a few. I just didn't pull them out because they were in a hard place to get to. They're super expensive. They can go up to $200. But like I said, take advantage of this sale if you can. If you're curious, my favorite is probably the purple blue palette, but the blue green is also absolutely stunning. On to more expensive items. I also would recommend checking out Hourglass powders. They are very expensive, but such a great investment. My favorite is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This comes with three different powders. One is good for all over, one is good for bronzing, and one is good for highlighting. This is just a great step into Hourglass products. They're so expensive, so definitely check out Hourglass while you can. I also really like their blushes. This one in particular is the Ambient Luminous Flush Blush. I personally am a pink blush girl and this is really beautiful. Especially individual blushes, they're very expensive. Seriously, look into Hourglass powders. You won't be disappointed. So I have three foundation recommendations for you guys. I love foundations. I love luxurious, expensive foundations. So this is the time to test out these luxurious foundations. So this one, I definitely mentioned the last one because it is my all-time favorite foundation, the Dior Air Flash Foundation. This is the best foundation I've ever used. It makes your skin look so beautiful. It looks airbrushed, it looks light, it feels light on your face. It just looks like your skin. I don't know, this foundation is really great. It's just mad expensive. Get it on sale while you can because it also doesn't last the longest either. It goes pretty fast. I also really like by Dior the new Backstage Foundation. Now this isn't the most expensive foundation on the market but this foundation is just so good it's a great everyday foundation the wear of it is beautiful it works well on my dry skin it works very well on my mom's oily skin i don't know i just have had a great experience with this foundation so i think you guys should check it out and finally the last more luxurious foundation that i'm going to recommend you check out for this sale is the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation this is a classic favorite a lot of people like it and i don't know i just really like the wear on this. I like how when my oils show through how this looks. It's not the most long lasting but the way the foundation wears with my oils just looks very very good. So I definitely recommend this while it is on sale. For lip products, I'm going to only recommend one lip product to you guys. Not because I don't like a lot, just because I've been loving these lately. I did get them for 50% off, but they still are really good. And they are the Too Faced, the Peach Collection lipsticks. I just love the way that they smell. I love the texture. They're so soft. They're very moisturizing. I'm so late on these, but I've been loving them. So I want to recommend them to you guys because they're worth the buying for full price, honestly. The two shades in particular that I recommend to you, which are nudes, is Sunday Fun Day, which is this beautiful nude color, and then Sex on the Peach, which is more of a mauve color, if you're into that. I feel like it's so random that I'm mentioning these, but I just, I love them. I think they're great, and I think they smell great, and I love their formula, and I love their packaging. All right, so I did hit up Sephora today, and I did pick up three things that I thought I would show you. This isn't all I'm going to pick up from the sale, but this is just what I picked up immediately. So the first thing I got was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I actually have had this foundation for years. I love it. I just got a new one because I ran out, so why not buy the 20% off, you know? That's what the sale is for, and I do recommend this foundation as well. As you can see, I utilize the sale to buy it, so I do like it that much. I also picked up the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. Again, I'm also recommending that you pick this up for the sale if you're interested because this bronzer is $49, but it is amazing. This is the best bronzer ever. Now, I've already featured this in a video, but the reason why I bought a new one is because me and my mom both love it. So, you know, I figured we'd have one for each of us in the house now. So this is an amazing bronzer. I absolutely love it. $49 is a lot for a single bronzer though, so that's why you need to buy it now. And the last thing that I picked up kind of on a whim is also from Marc Jacobs. It's one of their eyeliners. I got it in the shade Gemstone. Now this is from their new collection. It is their glitter pencil liners. Originally, I was going to pick up a matte because they are like $25, which is kind of ridiculous for a pencil liner. 
But then I saw this one and just, do you see that? I couldn't help but pick this guy up. Definitely not a necessity, but it was definitely a want. So that is all I picked up today. Some things on my wish list. There's a couple of NARS eyeshadow duos that I've been wanting for forever that I'm going to pick up. I used to sell a lot to pick up things that I've been wanting. They're not exciting enough to pick up as soon as I see it, but they're just things I've had in the back of my head that I've been wanting. So like I said, I want two NARS eyeshadow duos. Duos. I want to potentially try out the Fenty foundation just because I haven't tried it before and I've also been eyeing the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So those are just some things on my wish list. I'm sure I will think of a lot more but that's just what I can come up with right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this recommendation haul and wish list for the Sephora appreciation sale. Uh, let me know what's on your wish list or recommendations down below. I'd love to hear. Please inspire me, help me, and help everybody else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and I will see you guys in the next video bye